I just want to tell you how important this day and this week is for our organization. I know that many of you have been involved in prior discussions and prior planning, and it's all been helped us get to this point today. But um, it is just a wonderful opportunity to think through how we are going to um, provide direction and support and consultation on this redevelopment, redesign of the Victoria Hospital. And it is going to be about our patients and how we can hopefully plan something that meets their needs, their families' needs, but also ensure that it's a better place to work. Everybody, some basic training up front around how does waste elimination work in a, in a medical setting and from there we have the teams uh, and there, there's five tub teams in this in this effort this week we ask them to conceptualize what their workspace will look like we give them kind of a bare layout of the area and then we have them with really post-it notes kind of plan the work area at a very 2D level and once they come up with a concept from there we share that with the entire group we don't want anybody working in a vacuum. The, the, the 50 people that are in this warehouse are really working as a team. Uh, okay. Probably those. There's a whole lot of in front of us here. Um, it's, it's like those are crazy. I'm going to be crazy to that. And we're 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 going to be crazy to that. Um, of course, the patient family were the first and second around every one of our steps. And there is just an unbelievable amount of materials and machines that we have along here. You know, taking the, the architect's conceptual designs and allowing the people that are going to be working within those designs to, to fundamentally design their own workflows. And they're going to do that through understanding how to, how to optimize patient flow, optimize provider flow. And, and getting the waste out of those processes. So as they improve that flow, they can provide better patient care, they can provide care to more patients because we're getting the waste out of there, so the value added time they have with each patient is gonna be greater. Once again, this is great variety. You have the prep area, and then you go into a subspecialty procedure area, whether it's Think of uh, an airport too where you have you know the bookshop or the Hudson News and it's got an open front and it opens onto the little food court in front. It's like that for a reason. Okay, you need a patient bathroom, do you need a staff bathroom? Do you need Staff room is here. We have a staff area. Is there a bathroom? Oh no, we're making one more. Yes, we've got one more this size. Yes, it should be the closest. Yeah. Or it should be here. Should be on this end. Close to the OR. Should be that one. That's okay. OR. Cut that down. Oh, we got lots of room. Because we don't necessarily look at it from the emergency's point of view, but yet we're connected. Um, and the same with the architects coming in saying, oh, you know, they, they never said this won't work, but they would say, so how do you think it would work if this happened? And you'd be like, oh, yeah, that doesn't work at all, and you'd start over. From that 2D, we have them do a quarter inch equals one foot layout in 3D, so they can begin to conceptualize better how the flow is really going to work, and impediments to flow, and they can instantly change that on the layout. And, and it's really an iterative process. Try something, revise it, try something, revise it.
And one important aspect that we do during the, the quarter inch to one foot is uh, what we call a best fit exercise, where everybody took their individual layouts and it was on the floor, and we actually place the adjacencies to make sure that we had good flow, not only within the individual uh, specialties, but between specialties. So, you know, really looking at what's the experience for the patient going forward. You know, one of the things we, we try and do is we put a little, uh, uh, how do I want to say it, tension into the activity by giving the group maybe some a little shorter time frames and encouraging them if you uncover a better way of doing it then implement it right there on your layout don't debate it too much implement it and then talk about it amongst yourselves how big is that hallway going to be or is it going to be one of the things that has struck me about the work and i'm sure it's somewhat common to all of you so i'll make that comment is um this space is smaller than the space we started out with the overall space. And they continue to work to, uh, to come to some appreciation of, you know, I keep hearing things like, oh, man, that's 35 feet. What, how big is 35 feet? And no, that's too big. And I think it's really kind of interesting that uh, things are shrinking and, and people are learning. You know, I've been in the ER in this hospital. Um, I could understand that you might not have know what 35 feet is because it's not 35 feet to me. You're going to cut Let's get a stick that says MRI and we'll stick it on Because your idea is to seem to, to uh, flow much better and, and you see things so much better, right? And people came home, came back the next morning with so many ideas because they had a dream overnight, or things like that. It just worked so much better. And the shop was there until we were just an L shape with the garden just so this just have a floor sink or something in there, and then there's clean supplies. Yeah, clean supplies and there's. When we started out, they were, as you said, they're just two separate groups. Ah, we're going to work on recovery and we're going to work on OR. But as they began to collaborate together. They figured out pretty quickly that you know we can we can provide a better patient experience if we work together from when a when a patient walks into the operating room process and when they leave the recovery unit. To go. Uh, The purpose of the full-size mock-ups is, is it, 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 the scale we're currently working at, you know, it's, there's, you still can't get a human being or in, inside that mock-up. So we're going to make sure we have good access for the patient, good access for the providers, that all the materials are in the right spot, the, the stretchers, for instance, are in the right spot, and that we have good patient flow within these individual workstations. Well, I think what I saw with the teams is about respectful discussion, uh, the desire to put forth your perceptions, and really thinking through how it's best for our patients. And that respectful dialogue uh, really was breathtaking. Um, what we started thinking about on Monday by Friday, it had gone from paper to actually life size, life size scale of uh, rooms. And uh, I think it, it was done in a way that very respectful, focused on the people we serve.
Um, no idea is a bad idea, and I think we've, we've seen that this week. And uh, we've, we've had a great week from the point of view of getting to work with people, talk to people that uh, sometimes we just walk past in our, in our busy lives. So it's been a wonderful experience.